agents of pollination there are several ways of pollination to occur naturally the conditions or organisms involved in the pollination are known as agents of pollination pollination by insects when an insect visits a flower the pollen grains get stuck to the body of the insect when this insect visits another flower the pollen grains get transferred to the stigma of this flower thus bringing about pollination insect pollinated flowers show the following characteristics flowers are brightly colored to attract insects flowers produce scent that attracts insects some flowers produce nectar insects visit flowers to collect nectar for food pollen grains are sticky produced in less numbers example dahlia rose and sunflower pollination by wind pollen grains in some cases are carried by wind flowers in such cases show following characteristics pollen grains are light and dry and are produced in large numbers stigma is large and feathery to catch the wind carried pollen grains example wheat maize palm and grasses pollination by water this takes place in water plants like hydrilla and vallisneria before fertilization the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of a flower is necessary thus pollination is one of the important step for reproduction before fertilization differences between insect pollinated and wind pollinated flowers insect pollinated flowers large and brightly colored nectar and scent is produced pollen grains are sticky pollen grains are produced in less quantity wind pollinated flowers small and inconspicuous no nectar or scent is produced pollen grains are dry pollen grains are produced in large quantity let's know more manual removal of stamen is called emasculation emasculation is the technique to remove stamens before they mature it is done to prevent self pollination in flower 